two new images were released by Amazon a couple of days ago, and I know I'm not the only one who feel disappointed yet again. But at least it's not as controversial as last time. Just two random images of nobodies in random places. Of course they have created these characters, and probably they will play some role in the show, and Amazon wants to show that. We have Theo, with what seems to be the shards of Gurthang, if rumours are to be believed. And then we have Bronwyn, outside the east gate of Moria, or at least it looks like that. The terrain is very similar to what we see in The Lord of the Rings. And other than that, I don't have much else to say really. But one of the images have at least started a minor debate about something I brought up the last time images were released. The names Amazon have made for their made-up characters suck. And as always, places like the One Ring.net went out to defend the show and do what they do best. They argued that Theo is a valid name to use, as names like Theoden, Theodrit, and Theodwin has the same grammar. And if you know absolutely nothing about Rohiric grammar, that might seem true, but it's not. The root of the names like Theoden is not Theo, but Theot. It means people, and is also used in Eotheot, horse people a fitting name for the ancestors of Rohan, so we can't really use this to prove that the name Theo is law accurate. There is one hobbit, however, called Theobald Bolger, but hobbits always tend to have a lot of unusual names, some families more than others, and I don't hope this is meant to be a hobbit. Now I don't really hate Theo, though it doesn't feel like a name you'd hear in Middle Earth, unless perhaps among hobbits, but some people have issues with the name, as Theo is a real name. I would say it's only one mediocre name among many that have been chosen so far for the show. So let's dive into the names of the made up characters so far. I would say it's one of the better names, though not very creative. Seems like a mix between Brand and Halberad, but other than that, it's fine. Then we have Bronwyn, a name that I found very confusing at first. You see, Wyn, as a suffix, is also used by the Rohirrim for their women, where wine is the masculine version. But Bronwyn is from a village called Tiharat. I'd assume it's located in Harad, so if she's not related to the ancestors of Rohan, I find it a bit unusual that her name contains some of their grammar rules. Again, a pretty uncreative name that just wants to mimic a name like Eowyn. And then we have Arondir. I don't mind this name, but other than the name, I'd say it's far from law accurate but we can discuss that another time. And then we come to Dieter, a name I criticized a bit when first I heard it. If you think the other names are uncreative, this is the worst example. We know of exactly one female dwarf, Dies, the sister of Thorin Oakenshield and mother to Feely and Keely. So add an A at the end of the name and you have Dieter. What a creative name. Of course, Disa is also a real name from Sweden and fits neatly to the dwarves as they are inspired by Norse mythology. In my mind, a very uncreative choice once again. Now, I must admit, when I first saw the name Disa, I actually thought of an old Danish word for toilet and I had to look it up. I wasn't totally off though, as it's Das, but I noticed something else, something interesting in the Urban Dictionary. Disa. Short for disabled, used on people who absolutely have no common sense, or just generally acting retarded. I couldn't help but find that a bit amusing, so perhaps the Rings of Power should just be renamed Disa. So far they seem to fit the description. Of course I'm just joking around, but they don't seem to care much about the lore, nor about the languages and the names they actually use for the show. But what do you guys think? I've been holding back my criticism of the show so far, but let me know if you want to know more about what I have to say about it. One thing I am looking forward to is the War of the Rohirrim, so check out this video next. Farewell until next time.